Hi, my name is Dan. Uh, we're called Shry, and we have our friend Woody West. So we're gonna ask him a couple questions and sort of find some stuff out. So, um, where are you from? McLean. McLean? Yes. And uh, what, wh how did you sort of get here? Okay, in 1988, I took all my money, only 400,000, which isn't smart, and went to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Thought I could invest and live there. And I lost everything when the crash hit, as you know, back in 90, the yeah. crash hit. Everybody got bad real estate, everything got bad in the East and in Hawaii. So I lost everything. So I went to work for a health store from a guy who was also working for the CIA, which I don't know if you should know, say, Don May. Yeah. And so he hired me with my girlfriend for a $20,000 a year contract to sell vitamins for each of us. And he lived in an $850 a month apartment in Fredericksburg, where Larry Silver owns everything and he sees me with no problem. Yeah. So he signed up, and then the guy said, I'm not doing it because I don't want to do sports nutrition, I'm not doing it. So I hung up the phone, it never was heard from me, and that's what happened. So then we didn't have any cushion because we quit. And my girlfriend stood off, I stood off, I ended up in this situation, ended up sick. And I ended up with brain damage. Not from that, independently of that, from heredity. And I became bipolar, which means I'm manic depressive. I don't go manic, I just go like that. Yeah. It's physical brain. It's not called manic depression, it's called bipolar, because your brain is the subject, and it's pole C, according to my psychiatrist. Yeah. So he said, tough, can't help it, tough. I'm 60 years old, and I can get SSI, which is 7.30 a month, which you get if you don't have 20 quarters of work for over 10 bucks an hour in this country. It doesn't matter if you think you're getting Social Security, you don't. I'm not being bitter, I'm just saying you don't, unless you make that kind of money. So it means people that work at malls, even if they're 40 years old, and work yeah. at Social Security, don't get shit. All the years they work, they still don't get Social Security. That's just a minimum of $10 an hour. Ask your parents. That's all I can tell you on that. Otherwise, that's how I ended up in the situation of five years. I have to get Social Security, which is only 730 because it's not, SSI, it's not SSI, it's Supplemental Security Income. I talk fast because I feel bad, but that's it. That's what happened, and I thank you. Anything else you can add? Or? Uh, yeah, we'd ask you, um, what was the happiest moment of your life? Uh, supposedly going to Hawaii. Other than that, being a weather forecaster for radio stations in 1976 to 1993. That was my happiest time. I can't do it anymore because they don't do that anymore. You don't get yeah. you just do the weather service. Was, was that in McLean? Was that local? That was in Fairfax. It was 90% accurate. And they have that, you can call the Federal Communications Commission to get those records. Uh, Woody West, the weatherman, at WOHM, Real Radio, Kix 106, and uh, Q105 in Salisbury, Maryland. Could That's you it. do us a weather yes. report right now? Uh, weather forecast for tomorrow. Sunny, 90, not quite as hot. Here tonight, low 70. We're going to have thunderstorms at the end of the week. That's the way it looks right up now. Woody West for the Fox, 99 FM. That's it. Wow. That's it. Fantastic. Well, that was Woody West. It's great to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Stories Untold is a video series where we interview homeless people. The reason why we're doing this is to learn and understand more about how the average person can make a larger impact in their community. We'd really like to redefine a disenfranchised and dehumanized group of individuals. My favorite part about our interview with Woody was seeing this shift in energy when he was talking about his passion. I noticed that the only time that he smiled during the interview was when he was giving his weather forecast. There was one moment where Dan and I made eye contact, and you could tell we were both just blown away by how eloquent and well-spoken Woody was. So we really hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be many more to come.